I think Ryan Reeves and some of these other guys get to the point where they're like looking around. They're like, I'm the guy now. And I think yeah. Rebo's embraced that really well. And he's, and he's, he's added so much value because he's like that alpha. Now he'd be, he'd be a guy that he makes you think twice. Right. Uh, in he, uh, who's the, uh, Curtis McDermott's really tough. And uh, who, who got him this year though? Was it Reeves? No, uh, I don't know. Someone got Curtis McDermott pretty good this year, but you know, he's, he's um, defenseman out. He's a big out. boy too. Yeah. He's really big. There, there's still some guys. I mean, Tom Wilson still got that factor to him too. And he's got a little craziness, but um, yeah, I mean, there's still, it, it's changed. Like you're saying, Avery, like it's different now. Like I don't think you necessarily have those guys to set a, a tempo. And we talked, it's just funny. I was talking to someone about this the other day and a great point was brought up because there's a lot of talk when Reeves signed in Toronto, why would you sign him? He's 36 or whatever his age is now. Um, you know, this is a dying breed, all these different things. I think the problem is, especially now, people pay so much attention to signing a guy like that, what it does to the opponent. And that part's changed. Like, the, the deterrent? No, there's rules, man. This isn't the wild, wild west. Like, if I'm out there and Ryan Reeves on the ice, I don't have to fight him. You know what I mean? Like, maybe I'll act a little, you know, if I'm a, a player that doesn't fight, maybe I'll act a, a little more tame in my behavior, which would help Reeves' team. But you don't have to do anything. You shouldn't be afraid of him. I don't think that's a, a thing anymore, necessarily. I think it's more of what it does for your team. You know what I mean? And like, let's not forget, even talking Rangers, Chris Kreider's 52 goals came in a season with Ryan Reeves. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, does that mean that, you know, Kreid's had, correlation. <laughs> so Kreid's, Kreid's had what, 26 of them on the power play. So you back that Reeves has, I, I'm not trying to say Ryan Reeves was a big reason why all right. I'm saying is the, what it does for your team, the, your team should go out there and just be a little more, a little more arrogant in the way you play like Toronto. Toronto has struggled up to this point to do certain things. I think Austin Matthews is world-class. No one's going to argue that. I think he's got to find another gear to push through things. I think I'm, I'm tired of seeing him just smile when things get physical. You got to push back. I love him. He was a league MVP last year. I thought he was the best player in hockey. I think right now when he gets his deal, he should be the highest play, paid player in hockey until Connor gets his next deal or Leon gets his next deal or whatever. But point being, he's elite, but he has to figure out, like, you got to push through certain things. And he hasn't done that yet. But with Ryan Reeves on your team, shouldn't you feel more cocky? Like, I, I you should, if you, if you like to talk shit, you should talk even better shit now. <laughs> you talk it more. You know what I mean? If you want to go out there and pretend, like, I always felt like the NHL was very interesting because it's like, you can be a persona. You could be something different than what you are. You can go out there. It's like you can if you want to go out there and be an absolute shitbag and just stir things up. You could be the nicest dude ever off the ice. Mm -hmm. Like I, I'm not a fighter off the ice. But when I went on the ice, I was mean, and I was able to do that because it's like it, it, you can you can do that and you can kind of fake it till you make it right. And um, I, I think it's more of like that's what guys like Ryan Reeves does. I think people so much like oh, it's not a deterrent. Look. You know, I was on the team when Sidney Crosby got KO'd in the Winter Classic, yeah. you know, almost ended his career. People are like, well, you guys have, you know, Mike Rupp, Derek England, Eric Goddard. Like, it's not a deterrent. No, don't focus on that. It's what it does for your team. Like, the guys should play with more. They, they, should, they should be harder to play against because they don't have to be concerned with someone coming at them. Because if someone comes at them, Big 75 is going to come over the boards and set things straight. Sorry, I was just, I was just gonna say that was that was a great answer because what a lot of people like the analytics crowd don't understand is the true value that these guys hold, right? You know, you can look at Ryan Reeves and say he doesn't add anything to the offense or defense, but people don't know what goes on in the locker room. People don't know what they do off the ice. Like they they do provide something. It's not like there's zero value there. So you can't just you, knock Toronto for what they did there. This this sounds so stupid because you can't measure this. Yeah, I I know guys in Minnesota that are still there and were there this past year. You uh, and, and you guys probably noticed it. You, you notice this past year when the Minnesota Wild all started just doing interviews, no shirts on. <laughs> you know, they're all yeah. losing their shirts because Revo did it, and you kind of like you know messed around, whatever. But this is the thing: just a little like you, you're having. You might have players on your team that are introverts that don't want to be like emotionally. Like hockey's an emotional game; we need emotion, right? But you know, some guys that are 
they're very a lot of times in hockey we see and i think that's a problem with our sport compared to some others we don't see players true colors all the time but revo pops a shirt off why wouldn't you when you look like that dude tattoos yeah. everywhere big chest whatever big boy and i don't know how it came in it came into play but something happened in that room where they're like tarps off every time we're talking to the media so you go you get a start of the game you're going out to the bench and you're going to talk to the whatever uh the whatever the Bally's, whatever it was, uh, <laughs> you, you're going to talk to uh, the, the media shirts off, dude. That's what we're doing. We're cocky. Now you, you're telling me that doesn't like do something to the group. I, I mean, it, it, it makes guys step out of their comfort zone and you got to like the playoffs are about the, the NHL playoffs are about being comfortable, being uncomfortable. And so, like, it's just a small little step in that. It's stupid. You can't measure that. Oh, so you're telling me if, you know, 18 players take their shirts off, we're going to be a good team? No, it's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it just gives you this arrogance, right? Yeah. And uh, I think that's some of the some of the things that you can't measure that, like, a guy like Ryan Reeves brings.